We know, for instance, the star in our galaxy, they go from the equator to the halo and then back down. And we know they do that. And mm -hmm. so, and we know that the plasma on the sun does that too, right? Mm -hmm. so, so you can imagine that they, they'd be spirals of, you know, like a fluid, a superfluid, right? Spirals coming off the black hole as the black hole is spinning. Long spirals, the structure of space curling, right? So there should be spots on the surface of that star or of that black hole where matter is being sucked in, where you have vortices, like the red spot on Jupiter, for instance, which doesn't go away. It just stays there. Not a storm, right? Uh, sunspots. Sunspots where you see particles falling in. And what do you see coming out? You see x-ray. This is exactly what's predicted when particles fall into a black hole, is x-ray mm -hmm. emission, right? Mm -hmm. These regions of the sun, which some of the, the sun spots are almost, um, they can be 13 size the, uh, the Earth, uh, huge spots. These spots are much colder than the, than the surface of the sun, much colder, right? Because materials being sucked in, they can see particles falling in. I predicted this long before they could see the particles falling in. They thought that sunspots were surface event and that they were just an optical illusion from the magnetic field. And then they realized, no, particles are getting sucked in, you know? Um, so basically that's why there's sunspots and that's why there's holes at the top, uh, like the holes on top of uh, Saturn and at the North Pole of Saturn and the South Pole of Saturn is another good mm -hmm. example of those holes going through. But Saturn is not a star. It's not, the gas is not hot enough to be lit. So of course, you know, it doesn't radiate like the sun. So the those holes don't look like sunspots on it, but they look like large vortices on the surface of the planet, like the, the, sun, the, you know, the red spot on Jupiter. 